24-year-old Kathleen Moore, a mother and student who friends say had much going for her. Kathleen, who friends call Kit Kat, was just about to graduate with a phlebotomy degree and start working as a nurse. Close friends like Jessica Brummett say it's hard to make sense of what's happened. I'm scared. I'm, I'm trying to keep the faith because she's my sister and I don't want people to give up to lose focus because her life doesn't matter. It does. I'm, I'm just scared because this is not Kit Kat. She would not go this long. She would never put her phone down. According to Brummett, a transient man found more cell phone in a dumpster behind a Walgreens in Pasco County and turned it over to detectives. According to deputies, Moore, who lives in Largo, was last seen around 1 o'clock Monday morning outside her boyfriend's home on Carmel Avenue in Newport Ritchie. She was reported missing after she failed to show up for work and school. So far, deputies have searched her boyfriend's house as well as a landfill in Spring Hill. It's really hard, you know. Her, her cousins are really scared. Her aunts are really scared. Her grandmother is really scared, you know. It's, it's hard on them. Her dad just literally beat cancer, like, so... This, this is a lot. It's why Brummett and several close friends spent Sunday passing out flyers to cars at the intersection of State Road 54 and Seven Springs Boulevard. They also searched this area near a bridge on Seven Springs Boulevard, just blocks from where she was last seen, looking for any clues that could help lead to more. Friends believe someone knows something and are asking anyone with information to speak up. And we're praying and we're just trying to keep the faith that she will be found safe. Reporting in Pasco County, Jordan Bowen. <laughs> Friends and co-workers of 34-year-old Kathleen Moore surround a table with candles, ribbons, and Kathleen's picture. Kathleen is a bartender and trainer at Whiskey Wings on Roosevelt Boulevard in St. Petersburg. This is the third night they've gathered after sunset at the restaurant, hoping Kathleen comes back soon. Kathleen is very loved here at this restaurant, um, not only by the staff, but by the customers. We're a very strong family here. So... I figured that if, when we didn't hear from Kat by Wednesday, I figured she was just lost in the dark. So this isn't a memorial that we made for her. It's just lighting her way home so she can find her way back to us. Kathleen was last seen around 1 a.m. on Monday, November 29th. Since then, the Pasco County Sheriff's Office says they've searched her boyfriend's house near Newport Ritchie and a landfill in Spring Hill due to a possible connection with her disappearance. Before she was reported missing, Kat's boss at Whiskey Wings noticed something wasn't right. Kat wasn't responding to texts or answering her phone, which friends say is out of character. I called. It went straight to voicemail. So I knew that's when her phone was off. She was scheduled to be here at work Monday night when she didn't show up or call. Something was up. So um, I called the police first thing Tuesday morning. She's just the most energetic, full of life, positive person you could ever meet. She's just, she, she, she draws you in like that. That's why there's so many people that are worried about her. It's like you meet her once and you're just like, you're so drawn in by her positivity. At this point, they just want answers and hope they can be reunited with their friend and co-worker soon. Justin Matthews, Fox 13 News. And family and friends are anxiously awaiting updates. So far, no arrests have been made. It is a question that is yet to be answered, but tonight, her boyfriend is behind bars, accused of murder. This is Nightside. I'm Carolina Lee. Colin Knapp was arrested this afternoon on second-degree murder charges. This after Kathleen went missing more than a week ago. 10 Tampa Bay's Angelina Salcedo is near the Walgreens where her phone was found in a dumpster. Angelina, investigators have pieced together a timeline of her disappearance. Carolina, this 7-Eleven, one of the last locations Colin Knapp says he was with Kathleen in the early morning of November 29th. Her phone found days later in a dumpster across the street at the Walgreens tonight. Colin Knapp is charged with her murder after the Pasco County Sheriff's Office says that they executed a search warrant for second degree homicide. Sheriff Chris Nako spoke a few hours ago highlighting the rest of the charges that are on his record to show really how dangerous he actually is. You're seeing those on your screen right now. He had 10 previous felony arrests and nine misdemeanor arrests since 2004. Some included aggravated assault and aggravated violence, but Kathleen wasn't involved. Her friends told the sheriff's office they were known to argue and fight. Tonight, though, they just want to know where Kathleen is and why this happened.
As candles burn, Kathleen Moore's friends search for answers. Her manager at the Whiskey Wings, devastated by her loss, now hoping her accused murderer, Colin Knapp, will help find her. That Colin tells us where she's at so that we can bring her home in peace and give her peace. She deserves that. She doesn't deserve wherever she's at right now. She deserves to be home and be at peace tonight. But our, our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of Kathleen Moore. Pasco County Sheriff Chris Nako says Kathleen went missing early November 29th, but they're not sure when or where. There was multiple things that he said during his first statement of us that we found inconsistent that made us very suspicious of, of her whereabouts. Evidence uncovered through their investigation shows Knapp had brought clothes with him to work and threw them in a dumpster. Those clothes led to his arrest after stains of Kathleen's blood were found. We wish that Colin would provide us the information of where Kathleen is. And we delayed this press conference a little bit because we just arrested him this afternoon. We were hoping he was going to provide information during his interview. As one of our detectives described, he was very cold. Even when we were begging with him to tell us where her body is, he wouldn't give us that information. While they search for Kathleen's body. She didn't deserve it. She knew the person she was. She was a hard worker. Everybody knows her as a worker. She was Friends and family will keep candles in Kathleen's light burning. It's not over because she's still not home. And when I made this vision for her, it was, I vowed to light it every night until she's home. When she finally comes home, she'll be at peace. Now, during that press conference earlier um, this evening, I asked the sheriff why Knapp was not declared a person of interest or a suspect in this missing persons case for Kathleen. He says they were trying to make sure that he cooperated with them throughout this case. Up until today, when it was his arrest, he was cooperating, but now he will not say where Kathleen's body is. I am told that he has invoked his Fifth Amendment right, and he's set to be arraigned in court tomorrow afternoon. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office is releasing photos of Knapp's car and truck. They're hoping someone may have seen them between November 28th and the 29th. If you have any information on these vehicles or the case itself, 